Algerian boxer Imani Khalif is now taking legal action after being defamed by individuals like J.K. Rowling and others on Twitter, who all falsely claimed that she's a man. And that rumor still persists till this day. For example, after she won the gold medal at the Paris Olympics, we got this headline from the International Family News website, which reads, Male Algerian boxer Imani Khalif wins gold medal in women's Olympic boxing. And judging by the multiple grammatical errors in that headline alone, I would assume that the person who wrote this isn't very bright. But the reason why so many people still think that she's a man is because online transvestigators have all confidently concluded that she is definitely a man and she can't possibly be a woman. But she's not a man. She is a cis woman and has always been a woman, has always identified as a woman. Her Algerian passport says she's female. And that's really important because trans identities are literally criminalized in Algeria. But those inconvenient facts have not stopped people like J.K. Rowling from knowingly spreading this lie about her. For example, on August 1st, J.K. Rowling tweeted, Could any picture sum up our new men's rights movement better? The smirk of a male who knows he's protected by a misogynist sporting establishment enjoying the distress of a woman he's just punched in the head and whose life's ambitions he just shattered. But it didn't stop there because she kept tweeting lies about Imani Khalif. She retweeted people who continued to call her a man six days after she initially called her a man, and she made additional tweets insinuating that Imani Khalif was indeed a man who was beating up a woman. So after helping to spread the rumor that Imani Khalif was a man, J.K. Rowling continued to tweet about her a week later while still insisting that she was a man, even though that had been thoroughly debunked. Now, that right there is textbook defamation. And over the last couple of days, J.K. Rowling has conspicuously gone silent. Now, I don't know why that is, but perhaps it could be because she senses that maybe she got herself into a little bit of legal trouble. Because as Variety reports, J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk have both been named in a criminal complaint filed to French authorities over alleged acts of aggravated cyber harassment against Algerian boxer and newly crowned Olympic champion Imani Khalif. Nabil Boudi, the Paris-based attorney of Khalif, confirmed to Variety that both figures were mentioned in the body of the complaint posted to an anti-online hatred center of the Paris Public Prosecutor office on Friday. The lawsuit was filed against X, which under French law means that it was filed against unknown persons. That ensures that the prosecution has all the latitude to be able to investigate against all people, including those who may have written hateful messages under pseudonyms, said Booty. The complaint nevertheless mentions famously controversial figures. J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk are named in the lawsuit among others, he said, adding that Donald Trump would be part of the investigation. Trump tweeted, so whether or not he is named in our lawsuit, he will inevitably be looked into as part of the prosecution. And to that I say, good. I am rooting for Imani Khalif here because what they did is not okay. What happened on his platform is not okay. Now, it makes sense that Donald Trump has also been named in this lawsuit because he's part of the smear merchants who tried to claim that she was a man beating up on a woman. Now, he hasn't stopped lying about her since he initially made that one defamatory post on Truth Social. For example, at a recent rally event, he spread the widely debunked smear that she's a man. Listen. And I'd like to congratulate the young woman who transitioned uh, from a man into a boxer. You saw he won. She won the gold medal. How about the young Italian, beautiful Italian boxer? She got in there and she didn't know what was going on and she was a very good boxer, you know, against other women. She didn't count on this. And he's up here, boom, one little jab, whoa. She goes, nobody ever hit me that way. Then he goes, boom. And she said, okay, I had enough. It's crazy what they're doing. And this person won the gold medal. Did they win the gold medal today? What do you think of that, Tim? I don't think Tim, I don't think Tim likes it. Uh, Greg, no good, right? No, how crazy is it? How crazy is it for four more years crazy and she wants it she wants men to play in women's sports so they simply refuse to stop lying about her she is not a trans woman and to be clear it wouldn't be a problem even if she were a trans woman because trans people are people and trans women are women but she's not a trans woman and being trans in her country is literally a crime. So you're not only spreading disinformation by maliciously calling her a man, you're potentially inciting harassment and violence against her in her home country. It's extremely fucked up. And they're doing this all to prove some political point here at home. The Olympics is not even 
relevant to the U.S. election, but he's trying to say that Kamala Harris supports this here, and he's trying to like use this as the example of what can go wrong if you allow men in women's sports, but she's not even a man. She's a woman. So the example is terrible. That's just not happening. But even though those three people were named uh, because they were spreading misinformation, the attorney made it very clear that they'll also be asking the prosecution to go after others that use their big platforms to spread this lie about her as well. That includes J.D. Vance, Logan Paul, Riley Gaines, Chaya Rajchik, Charlie Kirk. All of them lied about her and called him Ani Khalifa man. So we're not sure where this is going to go. But I hope they're also investigated as well, because anybody who spread this defamatory lie should absolutely pay the price for that. But it's a little bit tricky since this is being filed in France. However, her attorney says that a prosecutor could make requests for assistance and even cooperation, legally speaking, from other countries such as the U.S. and the U.K. And I think that they're expecting the anti-bullying laws in each country to be applied to the case here. But we'll have to wait and see. I don't really know how this is going to play out. But in the U.S., it's very hard to prove defamation because you also have to prove malicious intent, which is very difficult to do. However, the standards are much lower in the United Kingdom when it comes to defamation. And cyberbullying laws that they have in EU countries might kind of help to bolster Imani Cleave's case. So, listen, I hope she wins and takes every fucking penny she can from J.K. Rowling. Drain her. Because the abuse that she went through cannot be overstated. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics here. We did a whole video about that last week or the week before, actually. I'll link to that down below. And by the way, some of the screenshots in the video that we did of tweets might be useful in discovery for Khalif's legal team. So, you know, just FYI if anybody wants to send this to them. But the effect that this has had on her reputation and mental health cannot be overstated it has been profound and it is deeply sad that she went through all of this for nothing so on august 4th she actually broke her silence about all of this bullshit and said this i send a message to all the people of the world to uphold the olympic principles and the olympic charter to refrain from bullying all athletes because this has effects massive effects khalif said in arabic it can destroy people it can kill people's thoughts spirit and mind it can divide people and because of that i ask them to refrain from bullying so she's saying as politely as she possibly can, hey, bullying is bad. We should not bully athletes because it could be really destructive for them. Saying, hey, this is kind of taking a toll on me as well. Please don't do this. But they never stopped. There are people till this day on Twitter insisting that she's a man when that's not true. It is so fucked up that she has had to deal with this. And I've got to say, it really says a lot about her character and how resilient she is that she put up with unprecedented abuse and then went on to still win the gold medal. For me, I feel like I would be rattled and wouldn't be able to think about anything else. My head wouldn't be in the game, but she still won. That says a lot about her. It shows you how amazing she is and how talented she is. But even though she won, make no mistake about it, the bullshit that she endured made it so much more difficult for her. Variety continues, quote, Khalif's coach, Pedro Diaz, told Variety that the bullying Khalif endured during her run in the Olympics incredibly affected her and everyone around her. He adds, she's so smart and has such an amazing motivation, he said, adding that her gold medal win felt like the most rewarding victory of my career as a coach. I bet. And, you know, I'm sure that that victory was so much more sweeter after putting up with all the bullshit that she put up with. But the fact remains that she shouldn't have had to deal with that. And he had to tell her to not look at social media because he thought that it would distract her because all of the abuse that she was receiving was so destructive. But I mean, it was so loud and so overwhelming. I'm assuming that she heard at least some of it. That's why she spoke out. Now, she doesn't speak English, so probably she didn't see everything that people said about her, which is a good thing. But, I mean, she knows that people are calling her a man, and I'm sure that that's not good for her self-esteem. I'm sure that it hurt her feelings at a minimum. But, I mean, I think that this is going to do long-term damage to her self-esteem and mental health. And that's so sad because she should be celebrating this moment. And she's been working to get here since she's been a little girl. Her dad didn't want her to box when she was young because he didn't think that that was a sport that was appropriate for little girls, but she did it anyway, and she's a gold medalist now. She also grew up impoverished, yet she defied all the odds to become as successful as she is. So, like, her story is one of those stories that is inspirational, but yet 
despite what she's been through and accomplished, she just had to endure one of the largest global harassment campaigns in modern history, all because transphobic dipshits think that she's trans and want to prove a point about how trans people are bad and they're using her. But this story proves that transphobia doesn't just hurt trans people, even if they are obviously disproportionately affected by it. Cis women are also hurt by transphobia, and it's not okay. None of this is okay. And I genuinely hope that she gets every penny she can from these Cretans. Alex Jones lost everything because of the defamatory lies that he told about the victims of Sandy Hook. And nothing would make me happier to see the same exact thing happen to J.K. Rowling. I want her to take everything she can from J.K. Rowling. So I'm rooting for her, and I have no idea how long this is going to take or whether or not it's even going to go to court or trial. This could be settled out of court, but either way, I just hope that there's justice, and I hope that she finally gets some peace of mind after having to put up with so much abuse. Shame on anyone involved in this defamatory campaign, but Iman and Khalif, just know there are people who support you and who are rooting for you. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, F around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, gay pride. Trans rights are human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Gay pride.